So let's pull over here. So we're getting oil numbers at 1030. I'm going to jump in here. Let's pull up the contract. Oil pretty much flat for the day. Um, we're going into the call spreads. We want to check out some exposure maybe to the bullish and bearish side. So we're looking at the June contract. Trading at 63.70, 63.71. We're going to look for exposure maybe to the upside and the downside. It's kind of cool. It's basically what Kevin was just talking about in terms right. of, right, you get a real, um, what's the cost to buy yeah. bullish exposure? What's the cost to buy bearish exposure? The other right. way to say this is that what we do is we basically figure out what the expected move is because that's the price to buy these, exactly. right, for the oil right. contract every day, um, every Wednesday. So 63.72. We'd have exposure from 63.50 would be our best option. So you'd have about 22 cents um, to the upside. Now that's not going to give us the expected move because, as Kevin said, you right. want the price of at the money, right? right? That's why we like these at the money. You buy them literally right at the money, no intrinsic value. You're just paying premium. Jump into the noons. That's what I was hoping. 63.75. Perfect. Wow. There we go. So and and the oil contract's even ticking right up to it as we speak. So the bullish contract. Oh, sorry. Wait. Uh, 63, nope, this is the bullish one. So that's costing us $18, getting in at 63.93. The floor is 63.75, where the contract's trading at. And then we get the same exact $1.50 to the downside, and it's going to be almost identical. $1 difference, oh, and as we say it, we're looking at 37. 37 bucks. So you're looking at 37 pennies yeah. away from exactly where we're trading at right now. That's your expected move. That's pretty good. By noon. Boom. Yeah. There you go, right? It's great because it really does line up to the penny. Now let's just see how the dailies line up because this would give us the expected move by 2.30. Right. This is the expected move by noon. This is the expected move by 2.30. Um, and they're going to line up at 63.50, so not quite ideal. The dailies here, yeah, 63.50. So the so noon, the noons and we like the noon sometimes because yeah, they no, give no, you a, sure. a full hour and a half after the number drops at yeah. 10.30. Um, and you're trading right at it. And again, keeping in mind, this gives you the expected move where you get exposure in both directions. But just like Apple yesterday, if you just wanted to go on the bullish side, that was only going to cost you half of that, you know, 980, right. you right. know, so 450. Just like in this trade, you want either side 18 to $19 as this ticks around um, 63.75. And so let's just take a look. CLM. Okay, so. Intraday, let's see what we did. So you got, you got a little pop here. Let's go into the downdraft from, that's, that's last Friday, huh? Yeah, it's four days. That's last Friday. Okay. It sure is. Yeah, I'll take it. it. I'll take it to the downside. Okay. See it shakes out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yesterday, quite a volatile day for it, sure. It did. It did. He gave it up on price. Yeah. You know, um, still at highs, though. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're Oh, close, for sure. You know, Everything in context, as yeah. in putting it in context of where we've been. Exactly. Um, yeah. And then even just to pull it up on a more shorter time frame, because the contract did, um, that ISM number hit, hit everything, man. Yes. Even at 10 o'clock. Um, where are we? Yeah. So look at that. It did spike from... You know, 63.85 to 63.62, talking about over 23 cents. Just on that ISM, I mean, maybe that helps add to the downside. And, um, you know, when we line these up, we're at 63.75. We're now six pennies even below that level. But nonetheless, we get the numbers in about six and a half minutes. Well, let's see what they're looking for. So live is probably up by now, right? Ah, uh, yes, it maybe. probably is. No, you're right. Perfect. Let's try and dig in. So we'll go top live. Um, there we go. Crude oil. Let's see where we're at. Okay, perfect. This is the what to watch. Let's just read and see where we're going. So, gas stockpiles have fallen 10 straight weeks, the longest stretch of decline since 2012. Even if the total figures pay close attention to the regions. Um, European cargoes have diverted from New York to LA after California refinery problems sent prices more than 50 cents a gallon above futures. Wow, we talk about these wow. refineries, yeah. I know. So, some arrived in the past week with more on the way. Pad 1C, which encompasses New York Harbor, delivery point for the NYMEX contract, is the lowest seasonally since 2014. So you see, I mean, it looks like they just take those tankers. You got a tanker out there say, oh, we got to divert you, man. You're going to go to LA to get yeah. more money. Well, we got to right. go to a different port because they're right. not refining it at that port. Right. Um, number two, crude production. February output was 11.68 million barrels a day in the latest monthly report released Tuesday. That's quite a bit lower than the 12 million in the EIA weekly figures for the month. Cushing stockpiles now that WTI Midland has backed off to about $5 
um, BBL, what is that? Per barrel under Cushing. Uh, there's more incentive to send barrels up to the hub rather than force them through the coast via train or truck. Again, talking about moving these around the country, right? Yep. Inventories have stabilized in the mid 40 million range. Um, U.S. crude exports seem to be on the mend after getting hit by the ITC chemical tank fire. Again, we talked about it's amazing how these things play out for continual, right? Um, that one fire in March and some bad weather that swept through Texas in early April. We aren't out of the woods yet, though. Parts of the south were dealing with tornadoes, heavy rains, windstorms much of the last week. While reports on outages were scant, some of the impact could show up in slower outflows. Um, yeah, so if you can't get those exports out of the country because of... Call them natural problems, disaster yeah. in terms of weather. Um, and let's just see if they do have any of those headline numbers. Let's see. So a API came in. Um, so I was looking. I don't more. think it had the yeah, number there. Six point. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So the crude rose 6.81 million barrels. That was last night at four o'clock. And this gives us a number, I believe. So crude. Yeah. We're looking for. Whisper numbers, uh, so 4 million. 4 million barrels. Survey number is 1.75. You want to you guess? Where are we going? I think it's closed. Isn't it say closed? Oh, it does say entry closed. Yeah. We missed it. Where do they cut it off? Five minutes? Maybe 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I think it's 10 minutes before the number. Okay, okay we'll get in there. Um, so looking for a build, right? Looking yeah. for a build. API was 6 plus. Whisper number is 4 plus million. Survey number is 1.75. Um, We'll find out. It's coming to us. You're going to love it. Yep. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 40, NASDAQ up 28. Uh, SOPs up 2. That NASDAQ's giving it up. That's interesting. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you Welcome amazed back. by this number? Is that what's happening? Totally. <laughs> Welcome He's back, folks. Speechless, man. You shit. Nine. <laughs> so we get a rise of 9.93 million barrels. Median estimate was 1.7, like we talked about. You had the Bloomberg survey coming in at maybe about 4 million. Nonetheless, Big way number. over than we thought, jumping back. Uh -huh. And you've seen quite a spike. So go. we were trading at 63.75. Even ahead of that number, we traded lower, which is just interesting. Yeah. But you could have, as we pulled that up, right? Exposure from 63.75. Contract was going to cost us about thirty-seven cents, thirty-seven dollars, but thirty-seven cents in the price of oil. Yes. And uh, you had exposure until noon, and so right away you got a spike down to sixty-three twenty-one. Um, you can always have these orders in, you know, in terms yeah. of if you want to bid in there, because that happens sometimes. But we'll follow back up, nonetheless. Pretty big build, maybe cheaper gas prices coming at us. Well time. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Ken in Kansas City. Hey, Ken, what's going on? Oh, oh we lost okay. Ken. Let's okay. See what he wanted. The, the, the stock was up there. I'll get um, it for you, sure. Sorry about that, Ken. That's all right. We got it. We got O I Oil U. O I L U. Okay. Oh, one more. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is the uh, Pro Shares uh, Ultra Pro three times exchange traded fund. Oh, the I, fund hope, I hope he was going short on this. Seeks daily into that investment number. that corresponds to three times the daily performance. Of the correspondent benchmark. Okay, so WTI crude oil sub index. Yeah. Um, that's going to be dropping as oil drops. Right. No, no, totally. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get some uh, action in oil. We sure do, man. We might be below 63 bucks by the time okay. we're off the air. And the so, ones we looked at, that was, those are the noons. That would have been a sweet trade. I've got it up here. So this is the bearish side of the spread that went till noon. Um, you Again, you'd have until noon if you want that exposure. You want to exit this trade right now. Uh, you're able to get $68. The whole contract was going to cost, as in both sides, 37 right. I kept saying, man, you could easily have taken this. You were maybe a little bearish, right? You're yeah. putting up about 18 20 bucks. 20 um, And if you want to let it run, man, that was a 10 million barrel build. Um, it's big it might run. It might run, for it's sure. Well, and what Teddy just brought up, they get, they get Vince the Whaler straightened up, man. That's going to be a huge oil supply. Yes, but, you know, yeah. Good luck. Just, just good luck. humanitarian. Yeah, right. No, right. I say it like as in they, they, that's quite they a humanitarian deal, yeah. exactly.